How cool is this? The city of Detroit plans to install a mile-long stretch of pavement that will wirelessly charge electric vehicles as they drive on it. Once up and running next year, it'll be the first of its kind in the country. New technology like that is making electric vehicles more accessible than ever. But what does it take to make the switch? And are electric cars practical here in Minnesota? WCCO's Aaron Hassanzada got behind the wheel to find out. It's quiet, it's smooth. When Ruth Weber Kelly swapped her old car for a Tesla a few years ago, it was like upgrading from a Walkman headset to Bluetooth headphones. As we did more research, we said, yeah, we really like this. Ruth and her husband Peter will tell you the decision was easy, but it was just the start of their journey to go electric. When I'm out driving now and I look around, I think there are EVs all around me. As more consider making this journey with more models and options available by the month, we've asked EV expert Yuka Kukunen. My normal mantra is no plug, no deal. To be our guide. The U.S. EV market is growing really fast. When it comes to function, a lot has changed. EVs are bigger and more powerful than their predecessors. Still like five, six years ago, we were talking about 100 miles range cars. Now, as I said, average is over 250 miles. Which means road trips are on the table. You plan your route accordingly, and you try to time it with when you make a lunch break or some other stop. Need to drive carpool? How about this plug-in hybrid with room for seven? For those who really need the space. The cost to go electric is complex. Of course, the cost of the car itself ranges, but new EVs qualify for up to 7,500 in federal tax credits, and the used market is growing. Though, keep in mind those older models may not have that longer range. It's a fun car. Ruth and Peter paid 49000 for their Model 3 with a distance upgrade. But save daily on powering the car and hundreds a year in maintenance. I can justify it from the sustainability standpoint. Peter and Ruth installed this level two charging outlet in their garage and all in with labor. They tell me it costs about 900 bucks. They just plug it in at night and it's charged by the morning. Once you're all set up, that's when the savings start trickling in. You don't have to go to the gas station, so that's fantastic. You don't have to go to the oil change place. That's fantastic as well. If you're pinching pennies. So you've got the Swedish gold seat belts, which comes with our performance pack. The fully electric Polestar 2 may not be for you. The base price is nearly 50000 though our tricked out model runs about 66. We have a full panoramic sunroof. And there's only 20 places in the country where you can test drive one. So here we go. Um, Not good with directions if you haven't picked good. up on that already. <laughs> you can literally ask the car to do almost anything for you. Now, most of us don't live in an Elon Musk utopia. Some of us don't have a garage. If you are mostly on street parking, it will be more complicated. Some commute long distances to work. It's going to be harder because you'd have to be super disciplined. We also have a little thing called winter here, which eats away at your range. What are you getting on our polar <laughs> vortex day? I'm seeing that range somewhere between about 190 and 200. Ruth and Peter's range drops 20 to 40 percent in the winter, but they say EVs heat up fast and are typically heavier, so do well in snow and ice. The cold weather doesn't impact the longevity of the battery. You are losing a decent amount of range, but the average person drives 29 miles a day. Well, there may be some speed bumps, the road to going electric seems to be fast tracked. When you start to have Ford F 150s driving around in electric, that is the, when we start to see the chains. Maybe you're driven by sustainability or the cool factor. But one thing is certain the journey to electrify America is on. It's really cool to see how it's taking off. Aaron Hassanzada, WCCO 4 News. You can say there are roughly 300 EVs on dealer lots in Minnesota right now. Like most vehicles these days, he says inventory can be a challenge.